Hi, my loves, and welcome to Arcana Priestess. If you are new, I am so glad to have you. And if you are returning, thank you so much for returning. I appreciate every single second that you guys spend on this channel, and you guys truly each mean so much to me. For those of you guys that are interested in purchasing a personal reading for more uh, detailed information related to you and your person or just you and your own journey, this will be the last month for all of the sale readings. So for those of you guys who haven't had a chance to take advantage of the sale, feel free to do that throughout this week. And then at the end of this week, all of the, uh, sorry, all of the readings are going to go back to full price. If you're interested in uh, winning a free reading, you can either subscribe to this channel as I do a giveaway every month, or you can follow me on Instagram where we do giveaways every single week. Um, there is also daily content on Instagram. So if you guys want a little bit more um, content from me, then definitely feel free to follow me over there. What else do I have to say? I've created an Amazon wish list. So for those of you guys that felt like donating to the channel in any way, uh, feel free. The list will be in the description box below. It is so special when you receive uh, gifts as a deck. I always find that they work so much better. So instead of me, you know, buying the decks um, for myself, like I've been doing for the most part, I decided that I'm going to be more patient and I'm just going to wait to have the decks be purchased for me because I don't want to have, because there's some decks that I purchased that I actually told my siblings that I want for the next Christmas because I was like, I want the same deck, but I want it as a gift because that's how powerful it is when you get it as a gift. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to be patient use the ones that I have from now and I will just wait. So yeah, that is down below. And other than that, I'm pretty sure that's all we have. I also have my personal Instagram. So for those of you guys that are interested in starting a YouTube channel, if you're interested in tarot, spirituality, just starting a business in general, it's pretty much for motivation, right? I'm a, I guess... At, what, at one point, I do want to become a motivational speaker. So there's lots of motivation there. There's advice on how I started my channel and how I started my first business. And I'm going to be taking you guys through the process of me starting my second business, which I'm so very excited for. So yeah, that is all in the description box below. Now let's get in with your reading, guys. Thank you so much for sitting with me through that message. All right. Hey, Aries. All right. So let's get in with your reading. We're going to do you versus them. Right, so I'm going to pull an overall energy. So show me what Aries needs to see the most. Okay, well, this is obviously the card. Look, at, it's you guys. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Wands, and then we have the Fool. So this is about a new start. Some of you are feeling cautious about having a new start. Some of you guys are feeling cautious uh, related to the person that you are dealing with. It's like there's a new start that's available towards you. Um, but this person is a little bit um, carefree and that may concern you. That may worry you. Um, there's a need for you to let your guard down a little bit and kind of just go with the flow and trust the situation and know that you are being protected. Your intuition is very strong and you will know if something is wrong. But until you feel that, allow yourself to fall free into this relationship, into this connection. Allow yourself to show this person who you truly are because they're going to fall in love with who you truly are. The more you open up to this person, the more they're going to fall for you is what I'm seeing here. You guys need to get out of your heads. You guys are overthinking. Too much overthinking. Okay. So, this is going to be your person. And this is going to be you. Wow, look what's at the bottom of the deck, the Emperor. All right, so show me what Aries person is thinking, please. Show me what we need to see about Aries person. The person on Aries mind, please. Show me what we need to see. The Emperor. So you are the person on Aries mind. Aries, you are taking this King of Cups. You're taking up all of this person's thoughts. Uh, they can't stop thinking about you. Wow, King of Cups, King of Wands, and the Emperor. Strong, strong masculine energy. I'm getting somebody wants you to step up or they're about to step up if you don't step up. Uh, this person wants you. Some of you, this person, uh, if you're just casually dating this person, this person has a choice to make between two people. 
uh, you and a water sign, but it looks like with the Emperor, the King of Wands, it looks like this person is going to choose you. You may be dealing with somebody who has children with a, another person who is very codependent on them, very protective of them, protective of their child. So you may have to worry, um, or so sorry. Yeah, you may have to kind of look out for that. I don't think that this person is interested in going back to the past. It's just that the past tries to do things to sabotage the relationship. This person doesn't want them to be happy with anyone else. So that's going to be a little bit annoying. I do feel like this person has some toxic energy, definitely. But um, yeah, let's see what else we can get. And I also feel like with the Seven of Wands, this person is like... Um, throwing like other options away like she's turning down other options he's turning down other options because they just want you they see you as this man or woman of power this just strong energy that just you know takes all the attention out of the room they find you so confident so attractive so alluring um you know you just walk into a room and you command respect and this person is just so drawn to that i'm kind of getting that some of you guys are dating like a water sign because i'm getting somebody that just like oozes for you because of you and everything everything that you are like the essence of who you are is just so attractive to this person but i feel like this person is a little bit more submissive a little bit more um soft and sweet so you could be dealing with a scorpio cancer or pisces um i don't know why i'm feeling a libra energy as well it could be taurus right that venus energy but i really feel like you actually i'm not really feeling taurus too much to be completely honest so i don't really think it's a taurus but for some of you it definitely could be but there's definitely like somebody is just feeling sweet for you like they're just so sweet for you and i feel like some of you this person if it's new they're falling in love with you um i don't think that they realize that they're falling in love with you yet though i think when they realize they're going to be very confused i'm hearing smooth operator <laughs> four 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 when i said that dang so you guys are ready you guys know what you're doing you guys know what you're doing when it comes to whatever it is that you're doing it's working some of you guys um may not know may not think that it's working but just know that it is working um i'm, I'm getting behind the scenes hmm okay this is cute there could be a little bit of games you guys may like to play games with one another um if this is a relationship that you've been in for a long time you guys do things to spice things up a bit you guys are two spices of its own of your own making is what i'm hearing um now i'm thinking some of you guys could definitely be dealing with the scorpio because you know that mars energy that you both carry that could definitely be a thing here <sighs> i like this let me see let's get some more energy Show me more about Aries person. But I feel a little bit anxious. Okay, so the three of the three of hazards is coming out as I'm saying that I feel a little bit anxious. So kind of what I'm feeling here. Okay, so with the set six uh, hazards, somebody may think that they're um, that somebody's giving to two, and we do have two kings here, and you're at the side here. So you may be sitting here like. You know, because I think um, somebody is like, where, why, where is the attention? Where is my attention? Somebody might have withdrawn their attention or something like that. But it's kind of like you're just sitting there like, hmm, right? I want to be the only one. It's kind of what I'm getting here. With the six of hazards, yeah. Somebody may, I feel like this person may get, yeah this person may get jealous um if they see you because they may think that you have the third party right um but this person may get jealous if they see you with other people i definitely feel like they want to wow i heard own you yeah <laughs> okay uh, with the three of hazards here the anxiety is around where this is headed if this so some of you this is something new and this person doesn't know where things are headed and they're a little bit anxious um related to if this is but somehow, somehow i'm feeling like this is you i don't know why i don't know well for some of the messages are definitely going to be vice versa right so definitely take it how it resonates here but somebody's anxious on where the relationship is going but at the end of the day the two of you guys both want the same thing. You both want to build something solid. You both see each other um, moving in together. You both see each other having a very solid foundation with one another. You know that you guys will be a very good team. So that's very beautiful. I love how the flame is coming up big enough just to show in the camera. That is quite amazing. 
Hmm. Okay. Yeah, if you know that there's another person, or if this person knows that you have to choose between you or them, and they're very anxious, somebody's anxious about who's going to win, who's going to be the choice. With this emperor coming out at the side, it looks like you're the one that wins here. Because look, with this Eight of Cups, this person walked away. Yeah, the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Cups. This, wow, intense energy. Queen of Wands, now higher fin. This person's going to commit to you. This person's going to commit to you because you're the one that makes them happy. You're the one that gives them emotion or fulfillment. And you're the one that they feel a soul connection with. But related to this other person, the King of Cups. So this person definitely could have a, a relationship with... Um, another water sign they could have had a relationship with another water sign um you could have a relationship with the water sign a past relationship with the water sign that you had a child with but there's something about um an ex ex wife fiance uh husband girlfriend boyfriend an ex because there's two couples here the king and queen of cups and the king and where did she go and the king and queen of wands yeah um i definitely feel like this could have been a, somebody who got out of a relationship who ended up you know having something casual with you and i don't think that it was meant to be anything more but then you guys ended up falling for one another and now you're kind of trying to figure out how to you know where to direct this or what's going on within this connection here but this person definitely walked away from this um other party that they were with and they left and they took all their emotions with them but this person is dragging you know they're they're running after them they're you know they can't even stand up they're dragging after them because they are weak without this person this person is codependent whoever has that third party or that person that is in the past that is not letting them go that person is just completely codependent towards them so this person is going to cause a lot of um chaos in the relationship like be careful because this is somebody who will try to make up little stories to separate you and this person from being together. All right, let's take a look at... Whew. Insane. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, hidden messages that your person has for you, unspoken messages unspoken messages that Aries person has for them please you are my personal drug addicted to you so this person feels like they are addicted to you because like I said this person cannot stop thinking about you it just drives them absolutely crazy it drives them off the wall there's something about I'm, I'm getting I'm hearing what you do to me what you do to me I don't even know what you do to me you just take control of me. This person. Some of you guys could have fallen in love with this person overnight. Let's see. So this person is addicted to you. Praying for us. So they're praying for the best possible outcome between the two of you. And even if things aren't going really good right now, they're praying for the future. They're praying that what they picture with you is going to play along, play out, especially if there's a third party causing chaos in this connection. They're just praying for the best situation, the best outcome with you. I love this person's energy, to be honest. This is actually so sweet, so nice, especially for those of you guys where if this is somebody new, it's like, I feel like you guys might have been attracting similar people constantly, but now you're finally, you know, finding that secure uh, connection. One more unspoken message. I text and erase. So this person has a lot of things that they want to say to, that they want to say to you um but they text and erase and at the bottom of the deck i see the card you still haunt me so for some of you if this is somebody who had left you who's wanting to come back it's like you still haunt them um you still haunt them they still think about you all the time no matter what they do they can't seem to get you off their mind so this person definitely texts you a lot and then they erase it and i feel like it has a lot to do with their emotions um i also feel like this person may be ruled by their emotions so sometimes they have you know impulsive um things that they feel they need to say but then they just erase it one of these times, this person is going to accidentally send one thing that they were supposed to erase.
you just get this person like all up in their feelings though all right show me aries energy towards their person please Aries energy towards their person. Oh my gosh. Okay. The lovers. I'm hearing nobody does it like you. The six of uh, swords. Oh, two cards. <laughs> okay, I'm done. The two of cups. This is beautiful, you guys. But okay, first of all, like this is just these. This is just ooh, six of wands at the bottom of the deck, you guys. Victory, success. Ooh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna put this away for now, though. Look at this, though. Just look at how beautiful, vibrant, and sparkly this is. If you don't want to have any babies, you need to be careful because I am sensing strong baby energy. Because I am sensing strong intimate energy, like. The amount of love making that the two of you guys are going to be having is going to be insane. I mean, off the roof. I'm hearing if somebody got out of a relationship, they were like, they felt like they were starved intimately. Like they hadn't had it in a very long time. And if they did, it was very dry cut, quick, short. So this love that the two of you guys have is just delicious. And yeah, somebody is like, just just uh you're you're both just wanting it because with the two of cups here you guys have mutual feelings for one another you guys have mutual feelings for one another this is a strong magnetic attraction like are you kidding me the lovers the sun the two of um cups you think that this is the one <laughs> like you guys it's so cute and you cannot wait to just rush in and just take charge of this in any way possible, whether it's intimately, whether it's moving in together, whether it's getting engaged, whether it's move or not moving in together, whether it's getting engaged, whether it's having a child, like you see this person as the one, like you want it all with this person. You would move mountains for this person. This is so crazy, you guys. So we have the Ace of Wands over here. <laughs> and as soon as like, especially this Ace of Wands, like this person sees you as like, I want to say the best they've ever had. And obviously with this card, it's like there's something about the way that you hold it is what I'm what I'm seeing. Um, I'm hearing perfect fit. <laughs> I'm hearing a lot of other things, but I'll just keep it at that. Um, <laughs> yeah so you feel like I just I need to get out of my head wow okay you feel like you are you want to move forward with this person if this is somebody coming back from the past you cannot wait for this person to come back and you cannot wait to be intimate with this person again you feel like this person is somebody who is refreshing you feel like this person is somebody who you can have a beautiful brand new start with you feel like this person is adventurous you feel they're passionate you feel they're very spontaneous and you just absolutely love that about them they're also a little bit quirky and weird is what I'm getting but you just love that about them you love that you can be yourself around this person you love that this person is like a statement of the truth some of you uh you're dealing with a leo strong again water energy i also see gemini here but you love the fact that this person is just so honest like it's what you see is what you get and you just love that about them because everything you see you love and you're just like how and honestly i think some of you guys are like you're guarded because it feels too good to be true and you're guarded because you're just like how is this so easy? Why is it why is it just flowing like this? What you know what I mean? It's like you're just like something has got to be wrong. Something has got to be up with this connection. It's to be honest, I love this reading. I think I love this spread. I think I might get addicted to this spread, but I love this reading, you guys. I think it is just absolutely amazing. This connection is guided. You guys have been drawn together. Like this is a, a faded connection. I think that you guys have seen multiple signs multiple synchronicities and i feel like at one point you were both guarded and you were both trying to pretend as if you guys weren't supposed to be together but at this point you can't deny it there's no denying that you are meant to be with this person because as much as the more you deny it the more the universe does these little things 
to you know make it seem like you guys are meant together for you guys to realize that you guys are meant together you can't run away you can't run away from each other the more you pull back the more you're going to feel drawn towards one another some of you guys um are definitely you guys got to be careful intimately because i'm i'm really sensing a son being born here and it's going to be a surprise honey it is going to be a surprise somehow for some of you though i'm feeling it's a divine intervention that someone gets pregnant and it's because this was a relationship that would have been self-sabotage otherwise so this pregnancy ends up i'm hearing leaving you guys with no choice to commit <laughs> so for some of you it's going to be a divine intervention you know if you do end up getting pregnant but like if that's not something that you're wanting definitely because for some of you this it does seem like a very fresh thing that has recently started so definitely you know be safe um but i definitely feel like there is a lot of movement that's going to happen once you guys express your true feelings for each other because for some of you this started off as something very intimate and uh there's love it just you, you i really do feel like somebody here might have fallen in love overnight but you guys are moving towards a time where you're going to really be expressing what you see next for the relationship and how you both truly feel about one another, which is going to help you to re realize that you both love each other. Such a beautiful soulmate energy. Like, ah, I feel so calm just like looking at these cards. It's such calm energy that's coming from them. I love it. It's that energy where you don't even have, even if you have trust issues, you don't feel the need to be that guarded because something just feels so right. I think you might have opened up to this person quicker than you have with any other anybody else. They just make you feel comfortable. There's just this silent understanding that you guys have with one another. Show me unspoken messages that Aries has for their person. Unspoken messages that Aries has for their person. I love your scent. You're all thinking you're just all up in your emotion for this person you're just craving them i love your scent some of you may like to play hard to get one step at a time because you're wanting to take things one step at a time some of you guys are pretending to be fake busy so that things don't move forward too quickly Some of you have, um, some of you think this person has been fake busy. I really love this energy. Um, those of you guys that like burn sage, have you ever like, or you go into like, if you get massages, like, you know how you have like a lot of stress, then you get a massage and you come out and it's just like, wow or you do a meditation like you're overthinking and you do a meditation and then you stop like for one moment you don't hear anything in your head and it's just silence and you're like oh my god or when you burn sage and all of that energy just leaves your body and you just feel perfectly complete without any of those intense energies that are surrounding you that's how i'm feeling it's just like so what I'm getting is like, this is the love you've been waiting for, for a very long time. And for some of you with the six of swords, it's coming towards you. Some of you haven't experienced this yet, but this is a past life relationship, a past life connection. So you've had a past life with this person before. Um, but this is what you've been waiting for. I'm hearing this is what all your previous relationships were preparing you for. Wow. Some of you are really gonna end up getting married to this person. And it's going to be a happy marriage. Well into it. Like years and years into it. Because there's always a sense of newness. There's always a sense of excitement with one another. No matter how long you end up knowing each other for. Okay. Let's pull three mutual energies. Three mutual energies between Aries and this person. That is on their mind. Somebody is making a um, making um, an action to commit. If this hasn't already happened, the Queen of Swords and the Two of Wands. Someone's about to be very direct about what it is that they want for the future because they're ready. They want this Ace of Cups. Yep, 
ooh, with the devil at the bottom of the deck, there could definitely be this addicting energy that binds the two of you guys. It's this, it's the intimacy, you guys. Like, it might have been what bound you guys together. Like, I swear this is the best you've ever received. And if this is somebody that you are not with currently, then whatever your best was is coming back. But it's like the intimacy bond, bound, bond, bound you guys together. Interesting. So yeah, Queen of Swords, Two of Wands, Ace of Cups. You guys are going to be whoever it is that is going to be taking this action. Your mutual energy is that both of you guys want to have a serious talk and communicate about where things are headed so that you guys can take this love and move forward because you guys have fallen in love with one another, but it hasn't really been communicated yet for some of you guys here. And you want to talk about like, um, if you haven't really, like, talked about, like, values, you know, kids, all that stuff, like, it doesn't matter if you've only been dating this person for a month, you're about to get all of those answers and all those questions answered that you need so that you can move things forward with this person because this is your end-all, be-all, and that's how they're feeling about you, so you guys both just need to get the, I'm hearing get the facts together, like, what? <laughs> Some of you, you're already engaged with this person and you're about to get married, it's about getting the paperwork together, finalizing the agreement so you guys are really going to be um, getting to know each other on a deeper level to really see, you know, the devil and underneath the devil is a four of pentacles. Like you guys have an addiction and it, it may be a little unhealthy because it's very strong and very powerful. Somebody here is obsessed. It's a mutual energy. So you're both obsessed. We have the lover and the devil though. So see, it balances each other's out because it's not like toxic, but it's like, I don't think you would just prefer to have this person around you a lot. You want to be with this person. You want to feel this person. You know, you you guys may move things really, really quickly once you do decide to express this. But, and there's this energy of just tying that knot and just, okay. Beautiful energy, you guys. So that's what I have for you. If you want a personal reading to get more information about you, the person that you're dealing with, or just uh, you and your own life path, then feel free. The This is the last week of the special. The link will be in the description box below. Um, yeah, and if you want to participate in a free reading, you can either subscribe or follow me on Instagram. There's two options. And I appreciate you guys for taking the time to watch. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys next Tuesday. Bye, my loves. And leave me a comment. Let me know if you like this spread because I want to keep repeating this spread. But I want to know if you like it. So leave me a comment if you like the spread. Leave me a co or leave me a like. And also, please leave me a comment about what's going on because I need to know the tea about this relationship. This is spicy, guys. I'm going to read all of those comments because, like, this is, like... Mm -hmm. All right. So I appreciate you guys and take care.